Now, this is incredible. The, if you haven't heard of the Alexis St. Martin story, get ready to have your mind blown. On June 6th, 1822, 28-year-old Alexis St. Martin was accidentally shot from a distance of, a, of about three feet inside a store of the American Fur Company at Fort Mackinac, Michigan in the United States. Surgeon William Beaumont arrived on the bloody scene and said the following when describing what he saw. A large portion of his side was blown off, the ribs fractured and openings made into the cavities of the chest and abdomen, through which protruded portions of the lung and stomach, much lacerated and burnt, exhibiting altogether an appalling and hopeless case. The diaphragm was lacerated and perforation made directly into the cavity of the stomach, through which food was escaping at the time your memorialist was called to his relief. If you're watching the video, you see a photo on the screen now of a reconstruction of the torso by artist Michael Schultz, 2017. So it's a sculpture of the reconstruction, and you see the blast hole on the side of his torso. After the accident, Beaumont took St. Martin to his home and nursed him back to health, and he went on to live a vigorous life, which included paddling his family in a canoe from Mississippi to Montreal. Although the fist-sized wound mostly filled in, it never completely healed. For the rest of his life, St. Martin's insides were visible from the outside. A horrendous thing to have to live with, but for Beaumont, this meant an extraordinary study opportunity. For the first time in history, it was possible to watch digestion taking place. So, for the next eight years, Beaumont experimented by inserting foods into St. Martin's stomach through the opening attached to a string, and he observed its effects on digestion. He did many different experiments. One thing he did was record how long it took foods to be digested by the stomach and emptied into the duodenum, and from these observations, he drew conclusions in relation to the effects of cooking. When Beaumont introduced boiled beef and raw beef at noon, the boiled beef was gone by 2 p.m., and the piece of raw, salted, lean beef of the same size was only slightly digested on the surface, while the rest remained firm and intact. After eight years of study on this poor guy, St. Martin, Beaumont's conclusions were, the more tender the food and the more finely divided, the more rapidly and completely it was digested. Hmm, sound familiar? Here's actually a quote from Dr. William Beaumont on his research. Fibrin and gelatin, which are muscle fibers and collagen in meat, are affected in the same way. If tender and finely divided, they are disposed of readily. If in large solid masses, digestion is proportionately retarded. Minuteness of division and tenderness of fiber are the two grand essentials for speedy and easy digestion. Now, this story did not end well at all. Sadly, by the time St. Martin died in 1880, at 85 years old, he felt mistreated and was resentful of being the subject of all this experimentation. Neither he nor his family wanted anything to do with Beaumont. After St. Martin's death, Dr. William Osler, described by many as the father of modern medicine, offered to buy his stomach for further study, but the family refused. The family actually kept the body privately for a number of days to ensure it rotted, ended up burying it in an unusually deep grave to ensure nobody could get to it. Hey, it's Mark. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and definitely hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos when they come out. Also, be sure to pick up my three free ebooks, one on chemotherapy, the other on sodium bicarbonate for cancer and other diseases, and a red light therapy dose guide by clicking the link in the description below. Last but not least, check out one more video on my channel right here, and I will see you in the next one.